Hi guys, Relic 1974 with TSN Research. Um, I was fortunate enough to get a PC Duino for Christmas. Um, for those who aren't familiar with it, um, it is a 1 gigahertz ARM processor based um, development board that also uh, it has Linux, Ubuntu. 12.04 uh, 12 um, it can also be flashed with uh, Android um, 4 um, you can flash it or you can do a bootable image um, this is supposed to work right out of the box and this is kind of a little uh, just a demo um, I did have problems with mine um, when I first hooked it up I wasn't getting anything on the HDMI out um, so I'll explain how I got that working in a second but here's the board itself um, you can pick up these cases uh, for about seven or eight dollars on eBay um, it's a semi clear um, acrylic case uh, there's a this fits a 16 by 2 LCD perfectly and it's got all the uh, bosses to mount and they give you different standoffs and different ends depending on the type of board um, that you're using and a panel here for buttons and whatnot um, I'm using it just to keep this away from static and uh, just keep it in good shape um, this this case also fits the Raspberry Pi and all the Arduino boards uh, but I bought it specifically for the PC Duino so I've got this velcro down so it can't move too much um, right on the back here we have a Ethernet port uh, right down here in the middle you can't really see it um, that is supposed to be the power port it's a micro USB um, the specs say it requires 5 volt at 2 amp so it's about 10 watt but I have uh, successfully powered this uh, directly off my computer's USB port um, and a note about the power this is the revision 2 of the board revision 1 had all the pin headers uh, on one side um, and while they were the same layout as your standard Arduino development board you couldn't plug your shields directly into it whereas now um, in Rev2 um, as you can see they're in the standard Arduino configuration um, now back to the power this is labeled power and the, the instructions and the tutorials for the Rev1 board will tell you to use this as power and I've tried that and even after successfully flashing the Ubuntu image um, the board will not boot up however you can use the uh, there's two serial ports here one is a USB uh, B and the other one is a micro USB uh, when I apply that to power the board powers up so this may be a change in revision 2 I'm not sure uh, but if you're having problems I would try powering it over the second USB port uh, for the USB B um, I've got this connected to a hub just a uh, USB hub and it works with my Dell uh, keyboard I've tried other keyboards um, and I've got it connected to a mouse I would recommend both of those before you get started I've also hooked up a touch uh, drawing graphics tablet to it with a stylus and it worked right out of the box uh, so no problems there um, and here's your HDMI out and this version also has Wi-Fi built onto the board so you no longer need a Wi-Fi dongle um, if you're having problems booting up and if you have a USB serial debugger or an Arduino Uno um, I don't have a USB serial debugger so what I did is I set up my Arduino um, as an ISP and there are three pins 
right there. Um, the middle pin is ground. The other two are RX and TX. Just connect those three lines to the RX and TX on your Arduino, respectively, and connect the ground to the ground on your Arduino, and open the Arduino IDE, and open up the serial monitor set to 115-200 uh, baud um, to match the baud rate of the PC Duino. And once you have that up, you can watch on the serial monitor the boot sequence and see what's going on. In my case, the bootloader, uh, the kernel was installed, but the image was not. So that helped me figure out um, just a little tip. Um, so you can use a USB debugger or an Arduino Uno as a uh, serial debugger and use that serial debug port. Um, the eight pins next to that are general purpose uh, GPIO ports. Uh, there's the ARM Cortex in the middle and the reset button is right beneath the green LED. Um, right here you have RX and TX lights and there's also I think an RX and TX LED um, up here by the USB host. Uh, the other buttons uh, I think they're reserved and not being used right now I'm not really sure. I know the upgrade button last I read uh, there's an upgrade button it's uh, to be implemented later and I haven't tried these buttons yet I haven't had a lot of time to play with this uh, I've spent most of my time getting the image onto the board um, and I'll supply those links in, in the description box but uh, I've got this connected to a Dell keyboard uh, just an old Microsoft uh, optical mouse pretty old one or like I said I was able to use a graphics tablet and a Vizio 26 inch um, HDMI uh, monitor so I've got everything connected um, HDMI out to the T uh, to the monitor um, I've already got my Wi-Fi configured for my network uh, got the hub plugged in and then the hub host goes to the USB host on the PC Duino and then on the other side I've got the keyboard and the mouse so that's enough to get you up and going um, I've already got power applied to it but I have logged out of Ubuntu uh, if I hit reset uh, the desktop will start loading so we'll do that now and we'll sit back and wait a second okay here comes Ubuntu uh, you can also low, you can also flash uh, Android um, KitKat or you can do a bootable uh, SD image so you don't have to flash it uh, which is my preference because I'm going to be working in the Linux environment and one nice thing is they in Rev2 uh, this image does include the Arduino IDE environment so I'll show you that in a second um, I'm going to try a blink sketch soon, just something simple. Um, it'll be the first program I wrote on this. And actually, this is my first, uh, this is really my first Linux PC, so I've got a lot to learn. Uh, but with no experience, if I was able to uh, flash the images and whatnot, the kernel and the uh, Ubuntu image without bricking it, then I have confidence that you guys can too so here's your uh, factory Ubuntu desktop and go down here to let me see like I said I've already got my Wi-Fi connected it does come with Chromium browser I'm working on installing Google Chrome um, and once I figure out how to do that I'll put out another video because I would like to use things like Chromecast and uh, uh, Google Chrome is just a much better browser over Chromium which is the browser that it was originally based off of um, and I'll connect to the internet in a second but I think the biggest thing everybody's interested in is uh, under programming 
right here you have your Arduino IDE give it a second and this thing boots pretty fast I was really impressed I'll have to go back and look at the specs as far as the amount of RAM and storage right now um, to supplement I've got a uh, there's a micro SD slot on the side I've got a 4 gig um, SD card uh, that I'm using now for uh, external storage but I think it has um, I want to say 2 gig of internal storage um, as far as RAM I think it's got 1 gig of RAM but I'll double check you can always look on tsnresearch.com and I have specs for um, I've got a rid up uh, I've got a PDF review that I did on uh, the Arduino Yun which is uh, kind of its competitor um, and I list the pros and cons of both boards just solely on reading their specifications this is I don't have an Arduino Yun and I'm so pleased with the PC Duino that I probably won't buy one uh, so I thought I would just do this review but if you want to see the differences between the two um, it is on our front page at tsnresearch.com so as you can see there's your standard Arduino IDE and I'm sure it does come with examples but I just I just wrote my own little blink sketch which I'll try uploading it now I haven't really had time to mess with it um, I've got it set to uh, digital out on pin 13 so if it's anything like the Arduino I'm expecting uh, perhaps the uh, power light to blink or something so we'll give it a shot see what it says so upload this is actually my first upload compiling and we'll see what happens okay LX terminal has opened and as I'm very new to Linux I'm not quite sure what to expect here um, be honest I don't know what I'm doing at this point <laughs> uh, I'll probably need to connect an LED and a resistor to pin 13 I don't think you know the Arduino has a pin 13 uh, LED connected on the board I don't know that that is the case here so uh, when I do get a sketch running um, I may do a video on that as well so anyway there's your Arduino IDE I'm going to close this terminal since I really don't know what I'm doing yet and I will admit I have been a procrastinator for a long time um, I knew Linux was taking over the world and uh, probably should have done this a long time ago but this is a good way to learn uh, so I'll open chromium and the Wi-Fi is very fast but my router is on the other side of my house right now so bring up a website uh, the reason I want to install Google Chrome is to um, it, this supports HTML5 and Flash it has full support for that and while I can install Flash as a standalone um, I would rather just go ahead and uh, have it installed with Google Chrome and just save myself uh, you know kill two birds on one stone that way but uh, I don't know I'll just go to um, I don't know yahoo.com maybe um, I'll tell you to github G. Well, I'm on the wrong keyboard. Let's just go to the web store for now. This is very bare bone. Like I said, I've, I've spent most of my time getting the kernel on it. And this would be a lot faster. But, uh, like I said, I'm about. 40 foot away from my router maybe close to 50 feet if I were closer this would be a lot faster 
but as you can see I do have internet connection and uh, and it shows that down here um, I've also read that you can log in uh, via a network with SSH so I'll be looking into that as well so that I don't always have to be at at the development board um, if I'm on my desktop or a laptop or you know another device um, I would be able to uh, remotely log in that way but anyway I'm very impressed with it so far and uh, when I learn more about it I'll do another video any questions if I if I can answer them just leave them in the uh, reply section thanks